Hi, my name is Isabel Parker. I'm the director of SAGE. You may ask what SAGE is. Well, SAGE is actually a mental health clinic, but it's also a belief system that wisdom and knowledge can help us grow and heal from any experience we've had in our life. Many of us have traumas, life experiences, and different things that hold us back from growing in the way we want to. Here at SAGE, we believe that as we ask God for wisdom and we gain knowledge in different areas, that we can grow and have amazing breakthroughs in everybody's life. And that's what I want to see for all of you. Instead of experiencing trauma or reliving the things that have hurt us in our past, but that we infuse those, each experience with, with the wisdom of God and the knowledge that surpasses all understanding. And I think that's such a great breakthrough that we can have for our life. Proverbs 13.3 says, Blessed are those who find wisdom, those who gain understanding, for she is more profitable than silver and yields better returns than gold. She is more precious than rubies. Nothing you desire can compare with her. Remember Solomon in the Bible? He gained so many amazing things because he asked for wisdom. And I believe that that's what the scripture is saying. I mean, anybody who's invested in gold years ago knows gold has had an immense amount of profit over the years. So has silver. And really, that's what we want to invest our lives into is something that's going to give us huge returns beyond our imagination. James 3.17 says, But the wisdom that comes from heaven is first of all pure, then peace-loving, considerate, submissive, full of mercy and good fruit, impartial and sincere. Those are all amazing returns that I want to see in my life and things that I've seen in my client's life. See, so often we, my clients go through really difficult situations, traumas, um, loss, grief, things that they have to experience on a daily basis that can really trip them up. But I believe that as they've gained wisdom and knowledge in, in different areas of their life, that they have seen great breakthrough. There's many different techniques we use as therapists. There's many different uh, sayings or philosophies, but the bottom line, all of them come from wisdom. And it's such a cool process to be a part of as a therapist, to be a part of as a leader, or even a mom, you know, as a wife, that when we infuse God's wisdom into our life, as we grow in knowledge, so many shifts happen in our life. The other really cool thing about wisdom is that it carries a weightiness. See, we can gain wisdom about our understandings from others. We can gain knowledge, help, you know, direction, but we also get wisdom from experience. Sometimes wisdom we can't get any other way. When we choose to take bad experiences and learn from them and gain wisdom from that, that becomes a trophy in our life. Look, I overcame and I got this great little gem of wisdom for my life now. Wisdom that can help others, and wisdom that can be applied to different um, future circumstances that you may experience. So what's really neat now is that for the next nine weeks after today, we get to talk about different areas that can trip you up in your life, different areas where you need more wisdom, you need more understanding to break through cycles that you keep repeating in your life over and over. Some of them will include shame, vulnerability, being in denial, um, anger, numbing ourselves with different types of addictions. We have a lot of really cool things in store and I'm excited to pass on the knowledge and wisdom that we as therapists have gained. Several of my friends and people that I work with are going to be invited to talk about their areas of specialty and I think you'll be really blessed by the information that they're going to be giving you. So are you ready to take a dive and do something crazy? Look at yourself in the mirror in a new way. Be vulnerable in a new way that you never have been before. Today we're going to start with an exercise. I want you to look at different areas that you're struggling with in your life and ask God what His wisdom says about this. Dare to be vulnerable and honest about the areas that you're struggling with in your groups and those around, with those around you. When we do that, we give ourselves the opportunity to gain wisdom from other people's experiences and from what they might see God says about our circumstances or the things that we're struggling with. Look, wisdom doesn't always create the change that we want, but I do believe that it creates a freedom within us to walk in spiritual authority and excitement for our life. 
So I really want you to take an opportunity to do this a little different than usually we have. I know it's hard, it's not really easy. Sometimes I literally go to my family and when I'm wanting wisdom, I say, I really need you to tell me what my blind spots are because I can't see my blind spots. I guess I'm asking you to do that. Maybe not with your family, but with someone you trust, maybe with God, have him help reveal areas that you need his wisdom and that you've been trying to just use your wisdom.